Time is a well-known but complex concept to define and explain. Science, philosophy, religion, and the literary sciences have given different definitions of time, but the measurement system is relatively more consistent. This measurement is based on seconds, minutes, and hours. While the basis of these units has varied throughout history, their origins date back to ancient Sumer. The modern international unit of time, the second, is defined by the vibrational frequency of the cesium atom. But what exactly is time? Scientific Description of Time Physicists define time as the progression of the future from the past to the present. Basically, if a system is not changing, time is. There is none. Time can be thought of as the fourth dimension of reality used to describe events in three-dimensional space. Time is not something we can see, touch, or taste, but we can measure its flow. Arrows of Time Physics equations work equally well whether time flows into the future, positive time, or past, negative time. However, naturally, time on Earth has a direction, this direction is expressed by the arrow of time. Why time is irreversible is one of the biggest unresolved questions in science. It is possible to explain time by looking at the laws of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states that in a closed system, the entropy of the system remains constant or increases. If the universe is considered a closed system, the entropy, degree of disorder, of the universe can never decrease. In other words, the universe cannot return to exactly the same state as it did at an earlier point. Time cannot move backwards. Time expansion. According to classical mechanics, time is the same everywhere. Synchronized clocks always show the same time. However, according to Einstein's special and general relativity, we know that time is relative. According to Einstein's theory, the flow of time changes according to the reference system in which the observers are located, and the situation called time dilation occurs. Here the time between events becomes longer, expansion, as it approaches the speed of light. Moving clocks run slower than stationary clocks, this effect becomes more pronounced as the moving clock approaches the speed of light. It has been determined that the recording times of very fast jets or satellites returning to Earth orbit are slower than those on Earth. Muon particles fall more slowly as they fall, and the Michelson-Morley experiment confirmed the long contraction and time dilation. In addition, length shortening and time dilation at relativistic speeds, close to the speed of light, in the Michelson-Morley experiment have also been proven. Time travel. Time travel means moving backwards or forwards to different points in time, just as you can move between different points in space. According to Einstein's special and general relativity, it is possible to go forward in time. Astronauts on the space station have traveled forward in time when they return to Earth and move more slowly than on the station. However, going back in time causes problems. A problem is causation or cause and effect. Going back in time can cause temporal paradox. The grandfather paradox is a classic example. The paradox is that if you travel to a time when your mother or father was not yet born and kill your own grandfather, you can prevent your own birth. Many physicists believe that time travel into the past is impossible, but there are solutions to the temporary paradox of traveling back and forth between parallel universes or branch points. Time Perception the human brain is equipped to track time. The suprachiasmatic core region of the brain is responsible for the daily circadian rhythm, that is, our biological clock. Neurotransmitters and drugs affect their perception of time. When the chemicals that activate neurons beat faster than the normal acceleration time, the decrease in neuron pulses slows down the perception of time. As time speeds up, the brain distinguishes more events within an interval. That's why when we have fun, we feel that time passes very quickly. Time seems to slow down in emergencies or dangerous moments. Scientists at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston say the brain doesn't really speed up, it just makes the amygdala more active. The amygdala is the region of the brain that creates memories. 
As more memories emerge, it feels like time is flowing more slowly. The similar phenomenon explains that older people perceive their time as moving faster than they did at younger ages. Psychologists say that new experiences create more memories than similar ones. Time passes more quickly as fewer new memories are built in later years. Beginning and end of time. As far as the universe is concerned, time had a beginning. The starting point was 13,799 billion years ago when the Big Bang occurred. Scientists can measure this date by looking at the cosmic background radiation that appeared in the Big Bang, but since there was no radiation before, the measurement is being made. Another argument about the origin of time is that if time expanded backwards forever, the night sky would be filled with light from ancient stars. Will time run out? The answer to this question is unknown. If the universe expands forever, time goes on. If a new Big Bang occurs, our timeline will end and a new timeline will form. As a result of the data obtained in particle physics experiments, it is unlikely that the universe will become static or timeless. Only time will tell. In conclusion, time is the progression of events from the past to the future. Time only moves in one direction. It is possible to move forward in time, but not backwards. Scientists believe that memory formation is fundamental to human perception of time. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like.